Chapter 5 is finally here, and this is shaping up to be one of the best chapters in the history of Fortnite. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you the 50 best try-hard combos for Fortnite. This is going to include everything from brand new combos that just got added to the game. We are also going to be including a bunch of try-hard combos that have been extremely popular in Fortnite over the last few seasons, and also talking about some underrated combos that you guys need to start using today. So make sure you guys watch all the way through and let me know which combo is your favorite in the comments down below. If this video can reach 5,000 likes. I'll also be doing a massive Battle Pass giveaway in the next few days. So make sure to go down, hit the like button and the subscribe button if you are new. But let's just get straight into it, guys. And we are starting off with Omni Man and pairing this with the Icebreaker Pickaxe. Now, this might not be the most tryhard combo during Chapter 5, but I'm just a huge fan of the way this skin looks. I'm obviously a huge fan of the Invincible show as well. So it is really cool to finally see Omni Man and, of course, Invincible and Adam Eve being added to Fortnite. I don't know how popular these are going to be, especially in the more competitive game modes. We do see a bunch of the more casual players using them just because I think they do prefer to use the anime skins more than the competitive players do, but they are still really sick and I thought I had to mention this combo on the list. But that takes us to the number 49 position and we may as well include another brand new combo and this is Nisha and we are pairing this with the Vault Guardian. Nisha was also added to the game with the Chapter 5 Season 1 Battle Pass. I'm a huge fan of the way this skin looks. I actually think it has a really cool design, but it is sort of similar to a few other skins that we have in the game, which is why it really hasn't got the popularity that it deserves. There are some other skins in the game that have been more popular from this battle pass, but I still really like Nisha, and I feel like as we get super styles unlocked, this will only just get better. So far though, you can unlock three styles for this skin. We have a predominantly white outfit style with a few different golden mask edit styles. We have a black suit style with, again, a few golden masks, and then a red or a pink style as well, which also looks really clean. You can pick up this entire combo though for 1,450 V-Bucks. I just feel like the Vault Guardian is going to fit in with every single combo on this, which is why I absolutely love these items together. Let's move forward though, and next up we have Piper Pace, and we're pairing this with LeBeau's Bow. Piper Pace was a Battle Pass skin from Chapter 4, Season 4. It is one of my favorite Battle Pass skins that we have seen during Chapter 4. I actually really like the way this skin looks, but I feel like a lot of people really thought this was an underrated skin. Not too many people actually ended up using it, especially in the more competitive game modes, but I feel like now that Chapter 4 has ended, a lot of people will start to use this skin once again. We just got a bunch of brand new skins added to the game over the last few days though, so it might take a little while for this to reach the popularity that it deserves, but I'm still a huge fan of this, and hopefully you guys are as well. I feel like the LeBeau's bow is a really good choice for this. It is a really simplistic pickaxe, and he's going to fit in with every single edit style for this skin, regardless of if you are using the default style, or any of the super styles for this as well. One combo that I do prefer just a little bit better though is PJ Pepperoni, and we're pairing this with the Driver Pickaxe. This is an OG skin. It was first added to the game back during Chapter 1, and this has just been one of the most underrated skins in the history of Fortnite. I've never really seen too many people using it. I love the way this looks, though. I think it is such a clean skin and deserves to be a lot more tryhard in Fortnite today. The Driver is just going to be the best pickaxe for this. It's going to fit it so, so well. It definitely makes it a lot more tryhard compared to if you were just pairing this with one of the default pickaxes in the game. I love the way this looks. It is such an underrated combo, and if you guys do own this skin, hopefully you have been using it over the last few weeks. But that takes us to the number 46 position, guys, and we have a Yida and the Gold Crow. Now, this is definitely one of the most underrated skins we are including on this list, and if I'm being honest, it's one of the most underrated skins in the game as well. This is actually added to the game as a level up quest skin during Chapter 4, so unfortunately, if you guys didn't end up buying it when Chapter 4 was first introduced, you are never going to be able to get this again. These skins really only feature in the store for a few weeks. You will be able to get them towards the end of each season, but once that season is done, you can never get them again. There is two styles for this as well. The default style does look the best, and I think that is my favorite one, but if you guys did grind out that season and complete all of the extra challenges for this skin, you could have unlocked a second edit style as well, and this also looks really, really clean. Honestly, though, I feel like a skin that I've been loving just a little bit more is going to be the Sun Strider, and we are pairing this with the Paddle Axe. The Sun Strider definitely became a lot more popular during Season OG of Fortnite because, well, this is an OG skin. It was a Battle Pass skin from the original Chapter 1. I think this was such an amazing skin and I loved the way it looked, but we never really saw this skin getting that popular because there were just so many amazing skins added to the game during Chapter 1, and since that was like four or five years ago, a lot of people have stopped using these items altogether. We do only have one style for this skin. I feel like it would have been really cool if Fortnite added in some other color variants for this, but obviously since it was an OG Battle Pass skin, 
in, I doubt that's going to happen anytime soon. The Paddle Axe is also a really underrated pickaxe, and I feel like it just fits in with the surfer theme of this combo really well. But let's move forward, guys, and next up, we have Slingshot and the Probability Daggers. This is a really underrated combo that can definitely be tryhard as well. I feel like there definitely are some pros and streamers that have been using this in the past, but it is just such an underrated skin that no one really talks about this anymore. I love the way it looks, though. Slingshot does remind me a lot of some of the other tryhard skins that we have in Fortnite. There were definitely a bunch of pros and streamers that were using this in tournaments as well, but now that we are pretty much in Chapter 5, I feel like a lot of people have stopped using this skin entirely. You can pick it up for only 800 V-Bucks. We do have a few edit styles for this as well, so it is definitely worth buying if you don't already have it, but the probability daggers are going to work best with the default style. I feel like if you were going to use the other style for this skin, then it might actually be worth using something like the Icebreaker or the Driver with this skin, but honestly, the probability daggers just looks way too clean, and this is still my favorite combo for this skin. That takes us through to the number 43 position, and we have Countess Duraku, and we are pairing this with the Vault Guardian. This is definitely a tryhard combo in Fortnite. It hasn't really featured in the store that often, though, which is why I feel like we haven't seen the popularity for this skin just yet, but hopefully as it does return to the store in the future, a lot more people actually can end up buying it. What was really good about this is that you could buy this skin for only 1,200 V-Bucks. You could also unlock the Vault Guardian for free, which made it even better. I think that was so, so sick, but if you were like me and didn't want to grind out a bunch of challenges in order to get this, then you could also buy it for like 500 V-Bucks. It does feature in the store quite often now. I love the way this looks, and this is definitely a combo that all tryhard players need to own. Unfortunately, though, if you don't already have it, you might have to wait a while in order for it to come back to the item shop. But if you guys don't want to wait for items, then you can get Montague and the Studded Axe pretty much right now in Fortnite. Montague is available in the Chapter 5 Season 1 Battle Pass for 950 V-Bucks, and the Studded Axe pretty much features in the item shop like every week, and you can pick this up for only 800 V-Bucks. These items look amazing together. You can use it with either style of this skin as well. We obviously have a default style. We have a diamond edit style as well, and there are some other styles that will be unlocked over the next few weeks. But for right now, I honestly feel like the default style is the coolest. I don't really expect too many tryhards or pros to use the diamond edit style. So if you guys do want to stand out, that is definitely the one that I would be choosing. Let's move forward though, guys, to the number 41 position, and we have Spark Plug and the Cold Snap. We are including this combo on the list because this is the combo that Clicks has been meeting over the last few seasons. As you guys know, Clicks does change around his combos quite a bit. I feel like he never really uses one combo for too long, but this was the combo that was included with his very own locker bundle. He finally managed to get a locker bundle in Fortnite. I know he had been waiting a long time in order to get it, and all of his subscribers and fans had also been waiting a really long time. So now that it is finally here, it does not disappoint. I love the way Spark Plug looks. I feel like the second edit style just makes this skin even better as well. I honestly prefer the secondary edit style or the ink edit style over the default style. I just feel like the default style has been so used in the past that it is really good to see a brand new style for this being used. But the Cold Snap is going to be a really good pickaxe for this, and it is definitely the one that I recommend using right now. It is just so underrated. We hardly see any other pro or streamer using this, so it's really cool that Clix has made this quite popular in Fortnite today, and the fact that this was included in his locker bundle brought a lot of attention to it, and I feel like it will make it a lot more tryhard in the future. But let's move on to the number 40 position, and we have one of the most expensive combos in the game, and this is Wildcats, and we're pairing this with the Star Wand. Now, this combo only sets you back $400. That isn't 400 V-Bucks, that is literally $400. Wildcat is one of the most expensive skins in the game because you had to go out and buy a brand new Nintendo Switch console in order to get it, but I still think it is definitely one of the best skins in the game, and quite tryhard as well. I still feel like if this was just a regular item shop skin, a lot of people would still be using this in the more competitive game modes. It is just such an amazing skin with a bunch of really cool styles. You could also make this combo even more expensive if you wanted to use something like the Stellar Axe with this. That would bring the price up from around $400 all the way up to over $1,000. $400. That is just so insane, and since a lot of you guys probably don't own any of these items, we may as well move on to our next combo, and this is Kato Thorn, and we are pairing this with Leon's Combat Knife. Kato Thorn was introduced with Chapter 4 Season 4's Battle Pass. This is actually the Tier 100 skin during that season, and it was one of the most underrated skins added in that Battle Pass. This is basically a vampire skin. I think what is really cool about this, though, is that this looks so different to every other skin we have seen before. There are a bunch of skins that look like the D 
default Kato Thorn, we have actually seen a few Battle Pass skins pretty similar to this, but no other vampire skin looks like this in Fortnite. The built-in emote as well to transform between the two skins looks so sick, but my favorite part about this skin is that you can use all of the edit styles with both the default style and the vampire edit style. Usually a lot of skins with edit styles only really allow you to use the super styles with one different color. They don't usually let you use a bunch of different super styles with all of the other original edit styles for these skins, so the fact that you can do this with Kato Thorn just makes it even better. Since this is so detailed as well, you really want to use a simplistic pickaxe for this, and that is why Leon's Combat Knife is the perfect choice, and it is so good as well, because it only sets you back 500 V-Bucks. Another really cheap combo that you guys could buy today, though, is going to be the Bright Bomber, and we are pairing this with the Star Wand. The Bright Bomber is one of the cleanest looking skins in Fortnite. It was extremely tryhard during Chapter 1, especially in the early days. I'm going all the way back to Chapter 1, Season 1, and Season 2, when this was literally known as the most tryhard skin in the game. We had basically every single pro and streamer using this skin. It was so overused, though, to the point where this died down only a few seasons later. No one really used it during Chapter 2, Chapter 3, or even Chapter 4, but in Season OG it definitely made a resurgence, and that was because Ninja was using this skin a lot. If you do want to copy Ninja's combo, you could always use this with the Plunger Pickaxe. That also looks really, really clean, but honestly, I feel like the Star Wand is a better pickaxe for this, and it looks like it was actually designed for this skin. A few seasons after the Bright Bomber was added to Fortnite, we ended up getting a second style of this skin added to the game, known as the Dark Bomber, and we are pairing this with the dark axe. Now, even though I feel like this probably could have just been an edit style for the original skin, Fortnite decided to add in a brand new skin entirely, and this was the Dark Bomber. This was one of the most successful skins Fortnite has ever added, though. It became one of the most tryhard skins almost overnight, and we saw pros like Faceway using this every single day for like three years. That only helped this become even more popular than it already was. I love the way this looks, and I still feel like this is a really good skin. We just don't have too many pickaxes that match with this perfectly, but honestly, the Dark Bomber and the Dark Axe is a really good combo. We've talked about a few Chapter 1 skins, so we may as well include another one, and this is the Skull Trooper, and we are pairing this with the Reaper Pickaxe. This is one of the most OG of OG combos. I love the way this looks, and I've always been a fan of this. Unfortunately, though, we don't really see too many people using it today, just because it has been in Fortnite for such a long time, but if you guys were playing Fortnite back during Chapter 1, you will know how good this skin actually was. If you guys do own this and you want to show people how tryhard you actually are, then I highly recommend using the purple edit style. This is an exclusive edit style that you only got if you bought this skin before anyone else back during Chapter 1, Season 1. If you are like me and bought it a few seasons later when it reappeared in the store, then you probably won't have the purple edit style. You'll just have the default style, the inverse style, the green style, and then the golden style as well. There are so many different styles for this, but it is still such a good combo and definitely one combo that I will be using a lot in the future. It probably isn't as try hard as our next combo though, and this is Kuno, and we are pairing this with the Scully Scepter. Kuno is definitely one of the most iconic skins in the history of Fortnite. It was actually an epic series skin when it first got added, so this was a little bit overpriced because we only had one style for this skin. Fortnite ended up adding in a second edit style for this, which is the Blizzard Buster Kuno, and that is the edit style that you want to use with this combo. It's going to fit in with the pickaxe absolutely perfectly. It's going to make you guys stand out as well, which is exactly what you want to be doing with this skin. I feel like it is just so, so clean. And regardless of how popular it is in Fortnite, it's always going to be known as a try-hard combo. But that takes us, guys, to the number 34 position, and we have Valeria, and we're pairing this with the Ol' Chopper. Valeria might be one of the more interesting skins from this season's Battle Pass. As you guys know, you can pick this up for only 950 V-Bucks in Chapter 5 Season 1's Battle Pass. I am a huge fan of this skin. I honestly think this Battle Pass has been one of the best ones over the last few seasons. And what is really cool about this is that you actually use a built-in emote to transform this skin from its default style into a secret edit style. I think that is really sick. You can basically transform both ways as well as you can go from the white style to the black and red edit style, and then from the black and red edit style back to the white style. I think this is so, so sick, and hopefully this is a combo that will be try hard in the future. Let's move forward though to Focus and the Star Wand. Now, this is actually one of the more interesting combos on this list, even though everyone knows this is a try-hard combo in Fortnite, this was actually even more special because it was known as a controller-only combo. Back during Chapter 1, we saw only controller players using this. A bunch of people loved the way 
way this looks, and most of them turned out to be controller players, so in a lot of big Fortnite tournaments, there were really only controller players using this skin. When it first got added as well, we only had one style for this, but Fortnite has now introduced a second edit style, which honestly is my favorite one out of the two. I like the way these look so, so much, and if this is a skin that you guys do own, I definitely recommend trying out the secondary edit style. I feel like we see controller players and keyboard and mouse players using this skin today, so it really has changed from the original days of Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, but it is still a really good skin that I highly recommend you guys buying. It has started to drop off though, and another skin that has also started to drop off would have to be Midas and the Slash Art Pickaxe. We haven't really talked about Midas too many times on the channel recently. This was included in pretty much every single video for like three or four months back during Chapter 2 and Chapter 3, but since we have just been in Chapter 4 in Season OG, it has dropped off a lot, and we didn't really see too many people using it. I love the way this looks, so I'm always going to be a massive fan of this skin. It has been one of my favorite all-time skins, and a skin that I've used pretty much more than any other skin in my locker. I think the default style is my favorite, but I also have the Ghost and the Golden Edit styles, and these are just so clean as well. So regardless of which style of this skin you guys own, it is going to look good. The Slasher also fits in with this really well, and you could also use this with our next combo, but instead we are going to be using the Invincible skin with Megumi's sword. Invincible is just added to the game with the crossover with well, Invincible. This is one of the cooler skins. I really like this, and I think this anime collab might actually be one of the more popular ones that we do see. Fortnite has obviously collaborated with so many different anime franchises over the years. There are some really cool ones. We have seen some really popular skins coming out of them, but none of them stay popular or try hard for too long. They really only stay popular for a few weeks and then die down very, very quickly, but hopefully the Invincible skins can actually be different. I'm such a big fan of this. I love the way this looks, and I think this combo is going to be one of my most used ones as we move into the future of Fortnite. But that takes us forward, guys, to the number 30 position, and we have the Scarlet Commander and the Ice Breaker. There isn't really too much I need to say about this combo. It is one of the most try-hard combos on this list, and that's not going to change anytime soon. You can buy this skin for only 800 V-Bucks, and we now have three different styles for this in Fortnite, so it is definitely worth buying. You want to pair this with a really simplistic pickaxe like the Ice Breaker, so it fits in with every single style. Even though all the styles for this skin do look quite similar. I feel like it is still worth using quite a simplistic pickaxe for this, and that is why the Icebreaker is going to be a perfect choice. You can also pick up this combo for only 1,300 V-Bucks, making it one of the cheapest combos on this list. If you don't really want to use a skin that is just known as a try hard skin though, then I feel like something like the Cozy Chomps and the Harley Hitter might just be a little bit better. The Cozy Chomps has been a little bit of a meme skin in the past. I love the way this looks, and I think it is so, so clean. I've actually been talking about this skin a bunch on my channel before, and I think it is so worth it for only 1,200 V-Bucks. We do see some pros like FaZe replays actually maining the male style of this skin known as the Comfy Chomps. I feel like the Cozy Chomps is still a little bit better, and we did even get a second edit style for the skin added over the last few seasons. I love the second edit style more than the default style. I don't know why, maybe just because the original style has been in the game since Chapter 2. It's always good to get a brand new style for some of these older skins, but I still feel like either of these skins are going to look really good. The Harley Hitter is also the perfect option for this. It is a really simplistic pickaxe that is known to be quite tryhard as well and just fits in with both styles for this skin. Let's move forward though to a tryhard combo and this is Manic and we are pairing this with the Ol Chopper. Manic is actually pretty similar to the Scarlet Commander in the fact that this has been in the game for such a long time and is just known as a tryhard combo. This is one of the most tryhard skins I think we are ever going to see. It has definitely started to drop off in popularity though and that is just because we have so many other amazing skins now in the game. There are also a bunch of different styles for this, so even if you hate the default style of this skin, there are like three or four other styles that you can actually use for this. Still though, I think the default style and then of course the green edit style are going to be the best, and that is what this combo was designed for. This is definitely one of the oldest combos on this list though, so if you want to use a brand new one, I highly recommend Explorer Emily, and we are pairing this with the Driver Pickaxe. Explorer Emily is a free skin in Fortnite, and all you have to do to get this for free is connect your Lego account to your Fortnite account. This is really easy to do and you get a free skin for this. I think that is so, so sick. I'm a huge fan of the Lego game mode in Fortnite. I just think it is so much fun and it is a really cool idea that we haven't really seen anything like it before in Fortnite. It is quite similar to Minecraft, but honestly, I feel like it is really, really cool and this is the perfect skin to help celebrate it. I've been using this a bunch. I don't know how tryhard this is going to be because a lot of free skins never really stay that popular, but it is still 
still really cool to see Fortnite giving out a bunch of free skins. This can also be used as a meme combo as well, but we probably won't see too many meme players using our next combo, and this is the Mogul Masters and the Trusty Number 2. I don't really need to talk about these too much. The Mogul Masters have just been so tryhard since Fortnite first started. These are introduced to the game during Chapter 1, Season 1, and you could buy each of these skins for 1,500 V-Bucks. That is the only problem I have with these skins. Instead of them being one skin with a bunch of different styles, they are eight different skins. I think that is so insane. I have no idea why Fortnite hasn't added in more styles for these skins. I mean, the fact that they've been popular for like the last six years should show Fortnite that these definitely deserve some edit styles or deserve to be mashed up into one skin with a bunch of different styles and just refund people the V-Bucks that they spent buying second and third edit styles. If I could only pick one Mogul Master skin to use though, I feel like the German Mogul Master would be my favorite one, but the Chinese and of course the Canadian Mogul Masters have been extremely popular as well. But let's move forward guys to the number 25 position and we have the Agency Renegades bundle and we are pairing these with the Slasher Pickaxe. We don't really talk about too many bundles in Fortnite, but the Agency Renegades bundle is just truly incredible. I love the way this looks and for $20, you get three skins in this and a bunch of different pickaxes as well. Now, there are really only two skins that you want to use from this. You want to, of course, use Shady's 80 and Spycatcher Siren and the remake of Cobalt is probably a skin that you don't want to use from this bundle. I haven't seen anyone ever using that skin and that is just because Spycatcher Siren and Shady's 80 are just so well designed. They basically took two of the most successful Fortnite skins and made them even better. I actually prefer these over the original styles of these skins, but make sure to let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below. I feel like because these were bundles, not that many people ended up buying them. Obviously, if they were just regular item shop skins or even edit styles for the original skins, they would be a lot more popular today. But if this is too expensive for you, then our next combo is going to be perfect because this is Crystal and we're pairing this with the Star Want. This combo is only going to set you back 1,600 V-Bucks, so it is definitely one of the cheapest ones on this list. We have have had Crystal in Fortnite pretty much since the beginning. This was added during Chapter 1 Season 8, but it did only have one edit style. Fortnite finally decided to add in a second edit style of this skin, and this just made it even better. We saw this being added at the start of Season OG. I do actually prefer this over the original style, but I feel like the original style is probably still known as the more try-hard one. If you are going to be using the brand new edit style of Crystal, then you definitely want to use the style one with this as well. It's just going to match up with it so, so perfectly and it is definitely one of my favorite combos that we saw during Season OG. But let's move forward, guys, to the number 23 position, and we have Aura and the Lovelorn Pickaxe. Aura is a Chapter 1 Season 8 skin that has been one of the most popular skins in the history of the game. Not only has this been extremely tryhard as well, but we also saw a bunch of casual players using this just because the skin is so perfectly designed. We also have three edit styles for this. Two edit styles were added when it first got added back during Chapter 1 Season 8, and then we got a green and gold edit style back during chapter three. I'm a huge fan of this. I feel like it has started to drop off though, just because it has been in the game for such a long time. And that is a pretty common thread with a lot of these chapter one skins. Another perfect example of this is going to be Arctic Assassin and the Ice Breaker. This is actually one of the first ever tryhard skins that we had in the game back during chapter one. But now the Fortnite has been out for like six years. I feel like people have just started to use some of the other and more new skins that we do have. I'm a huge fan of this though. You can pick this up for only 1,200 v -Bucks, so it is quite cheap, but I would love to see some more styles for this being added in the future. It would be really cool to see a magma edit style of this, or even a green colored edit style that would just also make it really, really clean. All of them would obviously fit in with the icebreaker as well, but I still feel like this is such an iconic combo that is still quite tryhard in Fortnite today. We need to move on though, guys. The so next up, we have Hope and the Star Wand. Hope is the tier one skin from Chapter 5's newest battle pass. This is easily one of the best tier one skins we have seen in a really long time. You can unlock some amazing edit styles for this as well, which is why I think it honestly might be one of my favorite skins so far. The default style is predominantly blue and this looks so, so clean. We also have a pink edit style, which just looks absolutely incredible and is going to fit in with the star one perfectly. And then we also have a razor style, which just makes this even cooler. I'm so excited to see more people using this skin, especially in the competitive game modes, but we're just going to have to wait a few more weeks until it gets the popularity that it deserves. But that takes us to the number 20 position, guys, and we have the Renegade Radar, and we're pairing this with the ACDC Pickaxe. If we are talking about a list of the 50 best combos, we had to include the Renegade Radar. It has just been one of the most iconic combos in the history of Fortnite, and I feel like this is a skin that every person wishes they could own. It is one of the rarest skins in the history of the game, 
It was first added back during Chapter 1, Season 1. So it is literally as OG as Fortnite skins get. You could only get this in the seasonal shop as well. So it wasn't like a regular item shop skin. You had to grind the game out to reach level 25, and then you could actually buy this. The worst part about it is that people like me grinded out this season, actually leveled up enough to unlock this skin, and then decided not to buy it. If I had have known that this is going to become such an iconic skin, I definitely would have picked it up. But unfortunately, I'm just a chump and decided not to buy it. I feel like the ACDC pickaxe is a really good pickaxe for this. It is quite OG and just fits in with the theme of this really, really well. That takes us through to the number 19 position and we have the Skull Drifter and we're pairing this with the Reaper pickaxe. The Skull Drifter has been one of the newest items added to the game. It was actually available during Season OG with the Infinite Drift bundle. It was a little annoying to get because this wasn't actually part of the item shop. You had to go into the Epic Games store or the PlayStation store in order to get this, which was a little bit of a headache because Fortnite were really trying to keep the OG theme of the season and not really including any bundles in the store. I still love this though. I think it is so, so clean and definitely one of the best skins from this bundle. The other skins were quite cool as well, but when Fortnite decided to mix together the Skull Trooper and the Drift skin, you know straight away it was going to be one of the best in the game. I feel like if this was just a regular item shop skin that would be a lot more popular than it is today, we also had to include this with the Reaper pickaxe because that is the pickaxe most people ended up using with the Skull Trooper skin. If you guys don't really like using male skins though, you might end up liking our next combo though because this is Glitch and we're pairing this with the Spectral Axe. Glitch is one of those skins that has been so underrated in Fortnite. This is added to the game a few seasons ago and it is one of the most highly customizable skins that we do have in the game. What sets this apart from every other customizable skin in Fortnite is that you really can't change too much about this apart from the color of her armor. I like this feature though. I think it is really sick and you can also customize this with all of the camos in your locker. We have actually seen this with a few different skins added since then, but Glitch was the first one to do this. I think it was such a creative idea and such a cool design, but since we just have so many customizable skins in the game, I feel like Glitch does get overlooked. The Spectral Axe is a really good choice for this. Not only does it fit in perfectly with a combo you guys are seeing on screen right now, but it is just one of the most OG pickaxes in the game that I still think looks really, really clean. Some people actually do prefer to use male skins now in Fortnite though, and if you are looking for a really good combo, this has to be the Chaos Explorer, and we are pairing this with the Vision Pickaxe. The Chaos Explorer is the latest edition of the Chaos Agent skins. We started off with the Chaos Agent back during Chapter 2 Season 1. We then moved on to the Double Chaos Agent a few seasons later. We got a Chaos Origin skin added to a Fortnite Crew bundle, and now that we do have the Chaos Explorer in Fortnite, this is the most recent one. I'm a huge fan of this. I think all of these skins look so incredible, and I would love to include every single one of them in this video, but I just feel like the Chaos Explorer has been the most popular one because it is the newest in the game. The Double Chaos Agent is my all-time favorite. I feel like that style was just so, so clean, and the golden skin looks incredible, but if you are like me and just want to use some of the newer styles in the game, then the Chaos Explorer is going to be perfect for you. I feel like the vision is also really clean because it is quite underrated and also can be quite a meme pickaxe. But one combo that probably won't be used by too many meme players is going to be Antonia, and we're pairing this with the Driver Pickaxe. Antonia was added to the game during Chapter 4, and this was a Battle Pass skin. This is pretty similar to the female style of Midas, which was Marigold. I love the way this looks, though. I think Antonia was one of the most underrated skins from that season, and of course, from that chapter as well. And we are probably never going to see this being added back because it was part of a Battle Pass. We have never seen OG Battle Pass skins returning, so I don't think this is going to happen anytime soon. I do love the way it looks though, and hopefully you guys did end up buying it as well. Because there are so many styles for this, you want to use a simplistic pickaxe with this, and that is why I feel like the driver is just absolutely perfect. But let's move forward guys to the number 15 position, and we have the Psycho Bandit, and we are pairing this with the Star Wand. The Psycho Bandit is one of the cleanest looking skins on this list. You could pick it up back during Chapter 1 in Season X, and unfortunately it did have quite a high price tag coming in at $40. You had to buy the most recent Borderlands game in order to get this. You would then get a code and you could redeem that in the item shop and that would give you the Psycho Bandit skin. There are some rumors that this skin is still available today, but I haven't seen anyone using it or buying it recently because it is just so rare and exclusive. I love the way it looks. It has to be one of the skins that I want most in Fortnite. I honestly want this more than skins like the Black Knight because I think it is just so, so clean. So hopefully it does get added to the game in the future. One skin that is probably as rare as this though would have to be Travis Scott's and we are pairing
comparing this with the Harley Hitter. Travis Scott was added to the game a few seasons later during Chapter 2, Season 2. It was definitely one of the most popular skins during that season, but now it is also extremely rare because it has only featured in the store once. Chapter 2, Season 2 was also like three years ago, so if you weren't playing Fortnite back then or you decided not to buy this skin, you have been waiting such a long time in order to get it again. I love the way this looks. We do have two different styles for it. We have the default style, which is definitely the more popular and tryhard one. But if you guys do want to stand out, then I highly recommend using the robotic edit style. If you are using that, make sure to let me know in the comments down below because I love this skin so, so much. But one skin that I have been using more would have to be Eleven, and we are pairing this with the Combat Knife. Eleven was added to the game with the latest Stranger Things collaboration. We actually got a Stranger Things collab back during Chapter 1 that introduced Chief Hopper and the Demogorgon skin, and the most recent one included Eleven. I think this is so, so sick. It was the only skin included with this second update, and we do have three different styles for this. We have a default style with her in normal clothing, and then an edit style where it looks like she's in a test lab jumpsuit. I really like both of these styles. I feel like the default style is just a little bit better, but the test lab jumpsuit is probably going to be the more tryhard one. The combat knife just fits in with this so, so perfectly, but our next combo is just a little bit better, and this is Siren, and we're going to be pairing this with the Lovelorn Pickaxe. Now, what makes this so special is that we just got a brand new edit style of Siren added to Fortnite, so you can use this with the OG style, the Noir edit style, or even the latest streetwear edit style. I honestly feel like the streetwear edit style is my favorite. Obviously, the original Siren skin has just been in the game for such a long time. We don't really see too many new people still using those styles today. But now that we do have a brand new streetwear edit style, I feel like this is going to be the best combo. It is so, so sick. It fits in with the theme of this season really well, and it is just such a good skin. Hopefully, it can start to become more popular again, but we may as well move on to our next combo, guys, and this is Surf Witch, and we are pairing this with the Harley Hitter. A lot of people are using the Surf Witch with pickaxes like the Star Wand because they do work really well together but I really want you guys to stand out a lot more and that is why the Harley Hitter is going to be the best choice. You could always use the secondary edit style for this skin as well. We got two edit styles for this skin when it first got added to the game but everyone pretty much only uses the default style. That is definitely the more tryhard one. We do see pretty much every single pro and streamer using this skin in tournaments at least once throughout their career, which is also really cool. But I'm still a huge fan of this skin. I would just love to see some more edit styles for this being added soon. But finally, guys, we are moving into the top 10, and we have to start off with Lewis Hamilton and the Ice Breaker. Lewis Hamilton is the most recent addition to the Icon series. This is definitely one of the more unexpected icon series skins we've seen in Fortnite, but I'm still a huge fan of this. We do have a default Lewis Hamilton skin and then a robotic or a race day edit style for this. I think both of these styles look really clean, but the default style is still the best. There are also quite a few different edit styles for each of these skins, but the one that you guys are seeing on screen right now is my absolute favorite. I just think it's so clean, it is so unique, and is going to make you guys stand out a lot, and that is why the Icebreaker is a really good pickaxe for this. But that takes us to the number nine position guys and we have caper and we are pairing this with the driver pickaxe we've talked about a few highly customizable skins on this list already but caper is one of my favorites and it is also one of the most recent ones as well for only 1200 v bucks you can customize this skin in so many unique ways that we have never seen before you can change around pretty much everything from the color of this skin to the actual stickers and emotes put on this as well which just allows you guys to customize this in ways like we have never seen before and it has actually been more popular popular than the superhero skins over the last few seasons. I don't think it's going to stay like that for much longer though. The superhero skins are just so iconic, but for right now, Caper would definitely be one of my favorite skins in the game. It definitely wasn't one of my first ever skins though, but one of the first ever skins that I bought was the Reaper, and I'm going to be using this with the trusty number two. This is just one of the most iconic combos in the history of Fortnite. The Reaper was added to the game during the chapter one season three battle pass, and the trusty number two was added at the exact same time. One of the first ever purchases I made in Fortnite was this battle pass. All of the items in this were so, so clean, and this is still something that I use to this day. The Reaper was sort of known as an official, unofficial John Wick skin. I feel like it was so, so sick, and when we even got the official John Wick skin added to the game, most of the Fortnite community still sees the Reaper as the actual John Wick skin. I just think that is so funny and so, so cool, and when we were in Season OG, this was definitely one of the more popular combos. It probably isn't the best male combo 
through in the game right now though, but one that definitely could be is Michael Myers and the Slasher Pickaxe. Even though this was added to the game a few weeks ago with the Four Nightmares update, we're still going to be talking about this because we had been waiting such a long time in order to get this. I feel like it was leaked and rumored for months and months. People thought this is coming to the game years ago, so now that it is finally here, it does not disappoint. I would have loved to see some more styles for this, but it is still really, really sick and definitely one of my favorite male skins in Fortnite. I don't know how tryhard this is going to become though, but one combo that has already been extremely tryhard in Fortnite has to be Lara Croft, and we are pairing this with the Leviathan Axe. I feel like Lara Croft has featured in pretty much every single video on my channel for the last few years. It has just been such an amazing skin, and it was first introduced during the Chapter 2 Season 6 Battle Pass. What makes this skin so unique though is usually a lot of Battle Pass skins do die down quite quickly. They stop being popular pretty much as their season ends, but Lara Croft somehow became even more popular. I don't know why or how this happened, but the only style that I ever see people using with this is the default style, and that is also going to work in best with the Leviathan Axe. The Golden Ender style also has started to become a little bit more popular, but I've never really seen anyone using the green edit styles for this skin. We may as well include another collab combo, and this is going to be Peter Griffin and the Scratcher Pickaxe. Now, I know these items were designed together, but there are no other items in Fortnite that are better suited for each other than Peter Griffin and the Scratcher Pickaxe. This is such an insane combo. I honestly don't know how tryhard this is going to be in the future because it is Peter Griffin, but for right now, we have seen a bunch of pros and streamers using it because, well, it's Peter Griffin. This has been rumored for such a long time in Fortnite. I think this collab is so insane. It would have to be one of the best collabs from the last few years of the game, and I'm so excited for more people to unlock the fully golden edit style as we progress throughout the season. The Scratcher also just fits in with his skin so perfectly, we had to include these two together. There is one male combo in Chapter 5, though, that I feel like is just a little bit better, and this is going to be John Wig, and we are pairing this with the Wix Katana. Now, some of these items are new, and some of them have been in the game for a while. We obviously got the unofficial John Wick skin back during Chapter 1 Season 3. We then got an official John Wick skin at the end of Chapter 1, but they've just added in some brand new edit styles for this, and this pickaxe is also brand new as well, so it does really revamp this combo, and since it has been tryhard in the past, I feel like it will be tryhard in the future. It might take a little bit of time for this to gain the popularity back because it has just been in Fortnite for such a long time, but I still feel like this could definitely be one of the best combos moving forward. It probably won't be as popular as our next combo though, and this is April O'Neil, and we're pairing this with the Banana Splitter. April O'Neil is also a brand new collab skin in Fortnite, but this is actually part of a collab with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is part of a collab that I never expected to get in Fortnite. Fortnite, we have had the Ninja Turtles leaked for a really long time. They were rumored pretty much since like chapter three or chapter four started, which is so long ago, but I never expected them to actually come to the game. And now that they are here, they are really, really clean. I feel like April O'Neil is just a little bit better than these though, and definitely a lot more tryhard right now. But one skin that was just added to the game that is even better than this has to be Reverie, and we're pairing this with the Star Wand. This is the starter pack skin for chapter five, season one. We always get a brand new starter pack skin in every single season, and Reverie has definitely been one of the best. It has literally only been in the game for two days, and we are already seeing a bunch of pros and streamers using it. It is one of the cleanest looking starter pack skins I think we have ever seen, and we do really have two styles for this, but they are pretty similar. Basically, the edit style just allows you to turn the hat on or off. I think this is a really cool touch. I personally feel like the no hat style is a little bit better, and it will fit in with the style wand a lot more perfectly, but still both of these are going to look really clean. But finally guys, that takes us to the number one position and we have the superhero skins and the Harley Hitter. The superhero skins have been so iconic in Fortnite, we just had to include them on this list. They are also quite expensive coming in at 1,800 V-Bucks, but they are definitely worth buying. They have so many different customizable styles. You can change these around in ways like we have never seen before, which just made them even better. And even though they are quite old now in Fortnite because they were introduced during Chapter 2 Season 4, they still seem to be getting even more popular. I just think that is so, so incredible. It shows you guys how well designed this skin actually was. And even though Fortnite has tested out a bunch of other highly customizable skins, nothing ever comes close to the popularity or tryhard status of the superhero skins. The Harley Hitter is also just one of the best pickaxes as well, so we had to include it with this combo. But there you guys go. That is the video talking about the 50 best combos in Fortnite. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to let me know in the 
comments down below what combo you are using today, and I'll see you guys in the next video.